In this video, I'm going to present uh, a spreadsheet for uh, accounts receivable cash application process. Uh, normally, in receivables, uh, you would get um, a logbox file from the bank over the internet or uh, in uh, DVD or CD media, something like that. And uh, in my case, this data file looked something like this. Okay. Uh, but it's not necessarily the format that you use. And uh, in the spreadsheet, there is a first button called Open. Okay, so I click that button and I select my file. And the program opens the uh, and parses nicely all the data. And I can see it uh, on the left hand side uh, my check totals and my invoice totals. And as you can see, they're matched, right? So uh, the second step is to um, validate this information against QED uh, database. And then I click the second button uh, called val validate to just to do that, just to um, uh, look up this references. And then, th and this is what program does. It looks up uh, those references and brings uh, a bill to information, open uh, open amount, amount to apply, and finds if there's any reference, right? So the, in the first case, uh, it's overpay. And in the second case, I have a variance for the second uh, reference here. And I have a problem here because uh, this reference uh, does not have a um, uh, corresponding reference in QED system. So that's why my bill to number is missing. Okay, so I could click and see my image file, like image uh, for the check, and identify who is uh, my uh, my bill to number, and then I can look up the reference number. Maybe it's just uh, you know someone uh, typing wrong number or something like that. Uh, or uh, here's another thing you can do. Uh, you can type partially. Uh, the customer name or bill to name, and in this case it's century, right? Century something. So I just type partially uh, C E N T something like that, and I press Control L, and the program gives me a selection of uh, all the references uh, for century hallmark. And there's one with, uh, and it basically takes this amount. And plus and minus is, uh, I believe, uh, $200 uh, both ways, like up or, or down. And finds the uh, the reference, open references in this range uh, with this uh, bill to n name and present me here. So I can see it right there. It's in the middle. Uh, it's the same amount as 62504, right? So when I select and click this one, my invoice number get changed here. So now if I run validate again, uh, the program finds the correct reference and eliminates the, uh, the variances here. Okay, so I'm, I'm good for this one. And with this reference, it's, um, it's overpay and I'm just gonna leave it like this. So the program will create unapplied uh, payment. And for this one, it's a uh, fifteen dollars uh, short pay, and I'm, I'm I'll be okay with fifteen dollars, and I'll just you know say yes, close this uh, reference, uh, even though it's uh, short pay. So I can do this, or if I leave it blank, it's gonna uh, leave this invoice open in, in QED. Uh, but I'm going I'm gonna go ahead and just say yes. Uh, okay. So once everything is clear, clean and clear then I can do process. And process is uh, is basically uh, the step where a program takes all this data from the spreadsheet and uh, submits to 27.6.4. And, uh, and now I can run a report. Now I can run a report and see, I can do a, a payment register report right from here. I can do it by check or I can do it uh, for, for the entire batch. Right, so if I want to do this by check, I just simply select uh, uh, the check number and click payment register by check. 
and it brings me um, the details of, of that particular check on all the distribution here and I can print it off if I want to or I can just so close it and uh, let me see this check and I can click right like this and and this check actually worked uh, a little bit uh, different so as you can see there's a there's a, a whole bunch of invoices and then a few invoices going into one bill to and another one is going to a different bill to number and sometimes that happens and uh, what the program did was uh, it created one check for bill to office products warehouse and the second one went on to different account number which is uh, Centra uh, the affairs and uh, and the overall it's 8,000 uh, okay in the summary um, uh, I just want to recap what we just did and uh, so the first thing was uh, we uh, pulled the uh, data from a bank file and then uh, match that data with the QED information uh, nicely in the spreadsheet format and uh, the program showed us okay here's uh, we, we have an overpay in here and we have a short pay over here and then uh, in the third case it was uh, bill to and the invoice reference was missing and we were able to uh, look it up by using a partial uh, partial name as well as the uh, invoice amount uh, open invoice amount and uh, so that was um, uh, that was uh, that step and then once everything was uh, uh, clean and clear we just processed this information to um, uh, 27.6.4 uh, menu and then we ran reports to see uh, the uh, payment register information how this uh, was how that was processed in in QAD and that was pretty much it uh, as far as this process goes and uh, if you have any questions or any uh, and you need any more additional information, please visit us online at 32soft.com. Thank you very much.